Using alternative fuels as an energy source for the clinker production has been instrumental in reducing our CO2 emissions in the past. Going forward, alternative fuels will continue to be one of the main contributors to achieve our ambitious CO2 target of less than 500 kg CO2 per ton of cementitious materials by 2030. We have a successful track record of implementing alternative fuels projects in a safe and environmentally sound way over the past 40 years. In addition to reducing the CO2 emissions, these projects help to minimize the need for further landfills. Two examples. At our Langford cement plant in Germany, Around 90% of our fuel use comes from alternative fuels, the highest level globally. Langford is using high quality alternative fuels from commercial industrial waste, solvents, as well as biomass waste. In total, this accounts for a carbon neutral biomass utilization rate of around 25%. In Indonesia, we have more than doubled our waste and biomass usage over the last two years. Now, we plan to extend this approach to other growth markets such as the Democratic Republic of Congo, Togo and others. In line with our global sustainability criteria, we focus on various levers like local waste and biomass there. In order to make this possible on a global scale, we have secured waste, biomass and other alternative fuel streams in every country by teaming up with municipalities as well as local and international waste management companies according to regulations. Switching from fossil fuels to alternative fuels is not only beneficial ecologically, but also economically. In 2019 alone, we saved around 400,000 tons of CO2 and generated cost savings of more than 20 million euros by switching from fossil fuels to alternative fuels. Our goal is to nearly double our alternative fuel rate in the fuel mix over the next 10 years. By 2030, we target an alternative fuel rate of approximately 40% globally.